So for me, this, this chart that we're gonna create using a 3D clustered column chart is one of the most common charts that I use in representing data. So if you notice, our instructions say create a 3D clustered column chart that shows the values for all items that is grouped by items. So consequently, the horizontal axis we want to list by item. So let's see what happens if we create a chart. Now, first of all, let's not forget we don't want to include the total, so I've just highlighted all the items, including their column headings. I have the same number of cells in each column and row. I'll come up to the Insert tab, which I'm on, come over here to Column Charts, and I'm going to just grab the 3D Custom Column Chart. Now I notice that this one also says by year, and this is actually month, so I'll change that. I will go ahead and do bookstore revenue by month and I have a chart however is this grouped by item and the answer let me go ahead and resize this a little bit the answer is no it's currently as you can see grouped by month so we have to figure out how to group it by item and it's actually pretty easy here's those chart tools that we're used to and consequently what we can do is simply switch the row and column so if we click this button switching the row and column now if you notice they're grouped by item so here's books and we can see that you know uh, the month we sold the most books is clearly June let's go over coffee the month that we sold the most coffee or let's say the least coffee June most coffee March so there you go there is a 3d clustered column chart where I change the grouping by simply coming up here and choosing switch row and column. Right, take care.